<laughs> it's cool. <laughs> kind of expect that in the middle of winter. But one of the things that I found interesting that I've decided that with video today, I don't want to neglect, but I want to make sure in video gospel that we spend the right amount of time doing the things that are important to God is that, you know, you could either be smart enough to go to heaven or dumb enough to go to heaven. As a matter of fact, it's kind of interesting because you really don't have to be so smart in order to get to heaven. But you really got to be pretty stupid to wind up in hell. Because you see, God has provided everything needed in order to get you to where you want to go. Now you may think you don't want to be there. And yeah, I'll admit, sometimes it looks a little strange, you know, some of the people that are going to go there. You know, some of the people headed for heaven. Because you see, they're still getting their act cleaned up, so to speak. God is still kind of working on them. and. You know, he's got to do some house cleaning in order to get them ready for heaven because, no offense, you're not exactly prime candidate for heaven either. And most of the people that you see that are kind of like headed for heaven probably deserve to be in hell. But you see, God doesn't want anyone really to go there because he frankly said something very interesting. He said hell was never designed for man. As a matter of fact, he kind of made this decision that he was going to send his angels that had rebelled against him there. The only problem is, is that he made it kind of custom fit for angels, not for man. He kind of designed it so that only those things that were corrupted, only those things that rebelled against him, only those things that were evil would go there because God said, I don't want it in my sight because I'm pure, I'm love, I'm peace, I'm joy. I'm those things that are opposite of what most of us see in the world today. You know, kindness, gentleness, meekness, temperance, kind of like the lion laying down with the lamb. You know, not chewing on your meat, but you know, giving up your meat. Huh. Wow, imagine that. No more bloodlust. <laughs> but rather, God desires. And I find it interesting that most people that are going to hell want to go there. So really, if you're dumb enough to go there, go ahead. You don't have to do anything at all except keep going the way you're going. Because if you're stupid enough to wind up in a place where you were never meant to be, it was your choice. You made the decision. Don't blame it on God. That was your call. But if you're smart enough to figure out that heaven is eternity and that there's a universe out there that's greater and bigger than anything we're experiencing in this life right now. Me personally, I can't wait to get on, to get up, to get going with what's going on up there. Because frankly, I think there's more to life than just, you know, kind of like existing and getting by, you know, and dealing with this kind of like corrupted flesh I'm in. I want to move on and move up and move out of this temple that I'm in, this tabernacle, this fleshy body, this kind of like, you know, used material that I feel myself, you know, kind of in a second rate position when I should be first rate heading for heaven and spending time with him. I kind of want to be prepared for eternity. I want to get cleaned up, so to speak, and I want to get on and get over this world and its ways because frankly I look around and I see you know what most of what I see around me doesn't look so pretty to me it looks kind of like you know second rate second hand kind of like corrupted image of God I don't think anything I'm looking at really is the way God intended it to be I frankly think that most of what I see is the way man wants it to be and one thing I know about, you know, like pigs in a parlor or kind of like, you know, when you put a pig in a, you know, a wallow, it will wallow. Yeah, you know, in the mud, you know, in the blood, and the, you know, and just throw food in there. It'll just kind of wallow around. Same thing's true about human beings, is that people will not rise up unless God does something. But they will 
fail and continue to get worse and worse because we don't acclim acclim we don't acclimate, we declinate. In other words, we don't go upward, we go downward. And except God works in a man's heart, and except God touches a man's soul, and except God causes him to be born again, he really doesn't seek after God at all. As a matter of fact, he goes away from God and chooses to live in darkness, chooses to live in evil, chooses to be violent, chooses those things that God never intended man to be. And you see, that's what happens with your destiny. If you're stupid enough to go to hell, and not smart enough to go to heaven. You're only getting what you have reaped because of what you have sown. You did it. It was your choice. You could have accepted what God has provided for you in Jesus Christ. Jesus has made a way that he said, hey, I don't want to do this. I really didn't. I chose to do this. I chose to do it for you. I chose to die for you. I chose to take your sin upon myself so that you would never have to experience this again. You would never have to be deceived and misled, but that you could find yourself in the perfect place that God intended you to be. Not to fulfill some purpose, because yes, God will do that, but whether you participate with it or not, God will fulfill His purpose. It's not up to you, you know, to find your way, but rather it is for you to determine where you want to spend eternity. I don't know what you want to do. Me personally, I think if you're stupid enough to go to heaven, then you're smart enough to figure out why you don't want to go to hell. But if you're smart enough to go to hell, then you're not dumb enough to go to heaven. Because no offense, I'm one of those dumb ones that's going to find himself given grace and mercy because I don't think there's anything good in me, but I think that everything good has been provided for me so that I can trust God to provide for me His salvation, that I can accept it through Jesus Christ, that I can walk and talk with God in a personal, intimate way now and have so much more when I get there later, that for the rest of eternity, I will always have the presence of God in me because God is with me. Maybe you want that too. Maybe if you just call on the name of the Lord, you'll be saved. Maybe if you just decided to reach out in some way today and said, Lord, help me to find my way to heaven. Help me to find that stairway to heaven. Help me to find that Jacob's ladder to be with you. Help me to hear you. Help me to see you. Help me to know you. Because God, I don't want to be so smart that I miss out on what you provided for me to get to heaven.